population distribution in India. Do you know that every sixth person living on earth is an Indian? The total population added every year in India is equal to the population of Australia. In terms of area, India is the seventh largest country in the world, while population wise, it is second only to China. Nearly half of the population lives in five states, namely Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, and West Bengal. The other half lives in the rest of 23 other states and seven union territories. About one sixth population resides in Uttar Pradesh alone. As is evident, population distribution in India is not even. The highest concentration is found in the northern plains of India and the coastal strips. Transport and communication facilities are well developed and there is a lot of potential for generation of employment. Similarly, population is thin in the northeastern region and the Rajasthan desert. The Deccan Plateau has a moderate population. To explain the characteristics of human population, their distribution and movements, we need to understand how humans interact with their environment. Growth rate of population and its distribution are influenced by factors like urbanization, education, religion, employment, telecommunication, migration and government policies. Urbanization Almost every country is experiencing increasing urbanization. Nomadic way of life is giving way to more attractive lifestyles in cities with better jobs and more incomes. However, People in some developed countries are giving up the economic advantages of city life for ease and distraction of the suburbs. Accelerating urbanization is transforming Indian society significantly. Migration Migration leads to significant reshaping of population distribution and its character. Inadequate employment opportunities and lack of infrastructure facilities in villages is slowly pushing large population of village people into large cities and metropolitan areas. Unavoidable migration occurs when people in a region are forced to migrate. For example, whenever there is an earthquake or floods in a region or any other disaster, people are forced to leave their homes. Government policies Government policies also determine the influx of population from one area to another. Whenever new projects are undertaken, like building bridges, establishing a university, making roads, or setting up schools and hospitals, there is also the need for labor to work on these projects. Sometimes, special housing is provided or financial assistance is given to attract workers. Townships have been established in places like Baroni in Bihar, where an oil refinery was set up. Similarly, the Durgapur steel plant in West Bengal came up the same way when the public sector steel plant was set up with British collaboration. Sex composition Sex ratio means the proportion of males and females in the total population. It is defined as the number of females per thousand males in the population. In India, sex ratio is 940 which implies that there are 940 females per thousand males. This figure suggests that sex ratio is not favorable to females. This unfavorable sex ratio is due to female infanticide, female feticide, preference given to boys, lack of healthcare facilities for women, etc. If the sex ratio of a country is 1000, it suggests that total number of males and females in that country is equal, which is a good situation as far as the growth rate is concerned. Age structure. Age-wise distribution of population helps the government in planning for the people on various aspects. The population is divided into three age groups. A. 0 to 14 years. B. 15 to 64 years. And C. 65 years and above. The share of working age group, that is 15 to 64 years, is always greater than the other age groups. In high and middle income countries, a large proportion of people are in working age groups. In the low and middle income countries, young people are a major section of the population. In developed and rich countries, the number of old people are more. 
when the population comprises more elderly, there may be a shortage of people working in productive work. As a result, the government has to make arrangements to sustain their life with good health care. India is lying between low and middle income country category. It has 34% of its population in the younger age group. It also has 5% population of the old. It means 39% population is dependent on 61% working population. The people in the age group of 15 to 64 years are the productive population that make the country prosperous as these people are active workers. The other two groups are dependent population and they need continuous care. The countries that have larger productive population offer their people a better quality of life. The government has to make efforts to providing health and education facilities to younger section of population. Trivia The number of individuals with age less than 15 years constitute 26.3% of the total population, whereas those aged between 15 and 64 have a 65.9% share of the global population. 7.9% of the world population has an age of 65 years and above. The government also has to make arrangements to train people who have reached the working age group. Literacy 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 means the ability to read, write and understand a simple message. Otherwise, a person is considered illiterate. It is evident that low-income countries have more number of illiterates than middle-income and high-income countries. Compared to females, a greater proportion of males are literate. Regardless of income status, females face discrimination in getting education in these regions. The adult literacy in India was about 60%. In 2001, similarly, the proportion of adult illiterates is higher than the proportion of literates in low-income countries. At the time of independence, only about one-sixth of the population was literate. In 2001, 65% of the population was literate. It is due to the discrimination against girl children going to school that female literacy is so low. Kerala has 91% literacy, has the highest rate of literacy in the world. Trivia The global literacy rate is 85%. This means that 85 out of 100 people of the world, which are aged 15 or more, can read and write. Social structure and welfare In underdeveloped countries, the population structure needs to be improved. In African countries, people are suffering from malnutrition and dying of starvation and diseases and their living standards are very low. In India, things are not very encouraging, but off late, the government has initiated some schemes to enable the people to raise their standard of living considerably. Several employment generation programs have been started in rural areas to provide means of livelihood to rural people. Industries are being set up in public and private sector to help people by offering them better employment opportunities. Many non-government organizations, NGOs, are also taking interest in spreading literacy amongst children and women. Population Growth and Economic Development Population growth and economic development are intimately related. All those countries which are still developing have a high growth rate. High growth rate has its impact on food supplies. Many African countries are suffering because of shortage of food. It is due to this deficiency of food that people in some parts of Africa are malnourished. Moreover, a high growth rate of population creates scarcity of residential houses. Illiteracy of adults in the world. Rents of land and houses become very high. As a result, poor people are forced to live in slums which have limited amenities of drinking water, electricity and drainage. This leads to the spread of diseases thereby adversely affecting the health of slum dwellers, inadequate facilities of education and health service, lack of employment, etc. lead to an increase in many social crimes. Increase in population creates a heavy demand on natural resources like forests which begin to deplete very fast. 
water supply also becomes a problem due to high growth rate of population. This leads to the problem of insanitation and hence causes spread of diseases. Therefore, it is essential to keep population increase under check. Asian countries like Japan, Korea and to a large extent China are able to enhance economic development by exercising check on their population by making some stringent laws. However, in India, family planning programs have not been commensurate with the high rate of population increase. We must understand that it is retarding our economic development. Hence, the policies of the government should be formulated in such a way so as to achieve a high level of economic development with stability in population.